Have you ever heard of a neutrino? It sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, doesn't it? But trust me, neutrinos are very real and incredibly fascinating. They're like the elusive ghosts of the particle world, and understanding them is like unraveling a cosmic mystery. So, let's dive into the world of neutrinos together. In the realm of physics, the early 20th century was a period brimming with excitement and mystery. Scientists were busy unraveling the secrets of atoms and the subatomic particles within them. Among these explorations, one particular phenomenon stood out as a baffling puzzle. Beta decay. Beta decay is a type of radioactive decay where an unstable atomic nucleus transforms into a more stable one. It was expected that the decay would release an electron and an anti-neutrino while conserving certain quantities like energy and angular momentum. However, when scientists measured the energy and momentum of the electrons emitted, the results were perplexing. The numbers just didn't add up. It appeared as if energy and momentum were being lost in the process, a blatant violation of the conservation laws that are fundamental to physics. This discrepancy posed a serious challenge to the then understood laws of physics. Enter Wolfgang Pauli, a young and daring physicist known for his sharp intellect and readiness to challenge established norms. In 1930, facing the perplexing puzzle of beta decay, Pauli proposed a radical solution. He suggested that there must be another particle involved in beta decay, one that was escaping detection. Pauli's idea was revolutionary and, to some, outrageous. He hypothesized that this new particle had no electric charge, which would explain why it didn't interact with the atomic nucleus or electrons in a way that could be easily detected. He also suggested that it was very light, perhaps even massless. This hypothetical particle was what he called the neutrino, a term coined from the Italian for little neutral one. Pauli's neutrino hypothesis wasn't immediately accepted. The idea of a particle that was virtually undetectable and passed through matter almost unhindered seemed more like science fiction than reality. But as more experiments were conducted and our understanding of the atomic world deepened, the neutrino began to transition from a theoretical solution to a plausible reality. The real turning point came in 1956, more than two decades after Pauli's audacious proposal. Clyde Cowan and Frederick Raines conducted an experiment that finally detected neutrinos. They designed a detector named the Poltergeist, hoping to catch these ghostly particles. They placed this detector near a nuclear reactor, a potent source of neutrinos. After painstaking effort and numerous challenges, they observed interactions that could only be explained by the presence of neutrinos. This monumental discovery not only proved Pauli's hypothesis, but also opened a new frontier in particle physics. Neutrinos are among the most abundant particles in the universe, yet they remain some of the most elusive to study. These subatomic particles are incredibly tiny, even by the standards of the atomic world. Unlike protons, neutrons and electrons, which make up the atoms of everyday matter, neutrinos rarely interact with other matter. One of the most remarkable features of neutrinos is their lack of electric charge. This neutrality is crucial to their elusive nature. Charged particles like electrons and protons interact readily with other charged particles, making them relatively easy to detect. Neutrinos, on the other hand, pass through most matter as if it isn't there at all. They interact with matter only via the weak nuclear force, one of the four fundamental forces in physics and gravity. The weak force is so named because it's much weaker than the electromagnetic and strong nuclear forces and it operates over a very short range. Neutrinos come in three different types, or flavors, electron neutrinos, muon neutrinos, and tau neutrinos. Each type is associated with a corresponding charged particle. What's truly fascinating is that neutrinos can change from one flavor to another as they travel through space, a phenomenon known as neutrino oscillation. 
This ability to change flavors was a groundbreaking discovery because it implied that neutrinos have mass, albeit incredibly small. Detecting neutrinos is a monumental challenge. Their interaction with matter is so rare and weak that neutrino detectors need to be incredibly large and sensitive. Scientists use huge underground or underwater tanks filled with substances like water or heavy water, which neutrinos can occasionally interact with. When a neutrino interacts with a nucleus or an electron in these tanks, it creates a detectable signal, such as a flash of light or a small amount of heat. Neutrinos play a fundamental yet understated role in the cosmos. Born from the heart of stars and the violent events of the universe, they carry secrets from these extreme environments to us. Unlike photons, which can be absorbed or scattered by matter in space, neutrinos travel largely unimpeded, providing a clear view of the processes that produce them. Our Sun, like all stars, is a massive nuclear reactor where hydrogen atoms fuse to form helium, releasing energy in the process. This fusion reaction produces a copious amount of neutrinos known as solar neutrinos. These neutrinos pass through the Sun and reach Earth in just over eight minutes. By studying solar neutrinos, scientists can learn about the core of the Sun, a region otherwise hidden from direct observation. The study of solar neutrinos has even resolved the long-standing solar neutrino problem, enhancing our understanding of both solar processes and neutrino physics. Supernovae, the cataclysmic explosions marking the deaths of massive stars, are also prolific sources of neutrinos. In the intense environment of a supernova, a large number of neutrinos are produced carrying away much of the gravitational energy released during the collapse of the star. The detection of neutrinos from supernova 1987A was a landmark event, confirming theoretical predictions about supernovae and the role of neutrinos in them. These detections help scientists understand the mechanics of supernova explosions and the formation of neutron stars and black holes. In the realm of cosmology, neutrinos are believed to have played a significant role in the early universe. Moments after the Big Bang, the universe was so hot and dense that neutrinos interacted frequently with other particles. As the universe expanded and cooled, neutrinos decoupled from other matter, traveling freely through space. These primordial neutrinos carry information about the early universe, and their study could provide insights into the fundamental laws of physics that govern the universe's birth. One of the most intriguing aspects of neutrinos is their potential link to dark matter. Dark matter is an invisible substance that makes up about 27 of the universe but has so far evaded direct detection. Neutrinos are a candidate for a type of dark matter known as hot dark matter due to their small mass and high velocities. However, current evidence suggests that neutrinos cannot make up all of dark matter, but they play a vital role in our understanding of the universe's structure and evolution. The field of neutrino astronomy is emerging as a new way to observe the universe. Traditional astronomy relies on electromagnetic radiation, but neutrino astronomy uses neutrinos to study astronomical phenomena. This approach can reveal aspects of the universe that are not accessible through conventional means, such as the interior of stars or the mechanisms of supernovae. In the realm of science fiction, neutrinos present an exciting and fertile ground for creativity. These elusive particles, with their near-massless nature and ability to pass through matter, can be imagined as the keys to unlocking mysteries beyond our current scientific understanding. One popular science fiction concept is using neutrinos for faster-than-light communication. In a universe bound by the speed of light, neutrinos, with their ghostly properties, offer an intriguing loophole. Imagine a future where we harness neutrinos to send information instantaneously across vast cosmic distances, breaking the light speed barrier in communication. This could revolutionize interstellar travel and communication, potentially allowing us to contact distant civilizations or explore remote galaxies. 
Time travel has always been a staple of science fiction and neutrinos could play a role in this fantastical concept. Given their unique properties and weak interaction with matter, some imaginative theories propose that neutrinos could be used to warp the fabric of space-time. Neutrinos could also be envisioned as messengers between parallel universes or alternate realities. Their ability to oscillate between different flavors might be reimagined as shifting between different dimensions. In this speculative scenario, scientists could use neutrinos to peek into alternate versions of our universe, uncovering realities where history took a different path. In the energy-hungry civilizations of science fiction, neutrinos are often depicted as an inexhaustible energy source. Harnessing the power of neutrinos, which are abundant throughout the universe, could provide limitless energy, propelling humanity into an era of unprecedented technological advancement. Imagine spaceships powered by neutrino energy or cities running on this clean cosmic power source. Alien technology in science fiction often surpasses human understanding and neutrinos could be at the heart of such advanced technology. They're not just a figment of science fiction. They're real, incredibly elusive, and fascinating particles that open up a universe of questions. As we continue to explore and understand these ghostly particles, who knows what amazing secrets we'll uncover about our universe. The neutrino story is far from over. In fact, it's just getting started.